Hey guys, I'm Sahil from Kronostek and this is a video on how to install the Oxygen OS on the OnePlus One. Now Oxygen OS just released a day or two ago so I thought I should give it a try. The first thing that you need to do is head to this link, I'll leave it in the description below. It's the link of OnePlus One website, they have this special page where you can download the Oxygen OS from. As you head to this page, there's Oxygen OS written in bold letters and beneath that there are two links, one is the installation guide and one says download oxygen. Now I have already downloaded the oxygen update so let's go to installation guide and see what it says. So it's pretty much the same as the first page it has the oxygen OS download link and it has a feedback app that you can download to give feedback to the developer and help them make this version of Android better. Now once the download is done you'll see a file like this it's a zip file. Once you open this up there will be two files in a folder oxygen 1.0 there's the flashable zip and the flashable md5 file. You just need to extract the flashable zip file on the desktop. Once you've done that you'll see there's a zip file. Now you just need to copy this to your phone. I have already copied so let's head to the phone. Now what you need to do is reboot your phone into recovery. Just press the power reboot and go to the recovery. If your OnePlus does not have the reboot into recovery option then you can just go to developer options and from there you can enable the advanced reboot option and you will see all these options. So this is the recovery I have. I will use the team in recovery for this process. Now the first thing that we need to do in recovery is go to the wipe menu and press on the format data. You don't have to worry about any internal storage as this won't be deleting any of your internal data like your photos, videos and all that stuff but it will remove all your applications that you had on the previous version of Android. So this is like a fresh installation, so you need to take care of that. Now the next step is go to install and find where you copied the flashable zip. I remember copying it to the downloads folder, so I'm just gonna go to downloads. And as you can see, this is the Oxygen 1.0 flashable zip. Just tap on this and swipe to install. You don't have to do anything here, just swipe it and it will install. The installation process is a little bit lengthy so I'm skipping all that part of the video and you can see it's working fine. And that's it, it's done. Now let's wipe the caches once to ensure everything works right. It's always a good habit to wipe the caches, there's nothing wrong in that so you don't have to fear that. Now reboot the system. Now yeah, we can see there's this new boot animation, it's not as good as the old one but yeah it's fine. There were a lot of rumors about how the Oxygen OS was not even half as good as compared to the Cyanogen Model 11 S as there were not many customization options and all that stuff. So it has booted now and this is a lollipop lock screen, let's open it up. I'm just gonna go to settings to confirm. About the phone and there it is you can see the Android version is 5.0.2 and the Oxygen version is 1.0 and that is the infamous flappy Android game we can see the Android version is 5.0.2 Oxygen version is 1.0 and the kernel version remains to 3.4.0 so not much update in the kernel the runtime has been upgraded to art so you might see a little bit better performance. I have even made a video of benchmarks on the Oxygen OS so you might want to give it a try. So this is all guys, thanks for watching my video. If there's anything that you might want to ask then you can leave it in the comment section below. Make sure that I answer all of your queries and you can follow me on Twitter. All the links are in the description below. Go subscribe to my channel to see more of me. This is Kronostek signing out.